Hi guys, how's it going? It's Julian and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will be reading an article from the Harvard Business Review and in this occasion it won't be like, like a lesson in which I make shadowing. It's just like an article which I found pretty useful and I wanted to share it with, with all of you. Well, actually this article w will be the, the last one that I will be able to read this month. So give me a like and subscribe because I won't be able to to read another one until the next month because this is the free version so yeah uh, besides it could be useful to to keep growing as a community but let's go ahead with this and let's start with the with the article okay the name of the article is your social media presence can help you land or lose a job opportunity your social media presence can make or break your job search Tapping, tapping into your network's connections and ideas can give you an edge, but it's critical to be savvy and maintain professionalism. So, how do you pose about your job search without appearing desperate? What's the best way to showcase your skills to ensure your contacts think of you for opportunities? If you're currently employed, how can you subtly signal you're open to a new job without rising red flags at work? And if you're a new grad, just entering the working world, where do you even start? Okay, what the experts say. The traditional hiring model is shifting towards a more targeted approach. Organizations are no longer waiting around for candidates to apply to jobs, says Mathy Lukarinian, doctoral researcher at the University of Jawiska in Finland. Instead, they are proactively recruiting and headhunting talent online using social media platforms and predictive analytics. The implications, the implications for job seekers are profound. Your digital footprint and online activities can have a big effect on how attractive and visible you are to potential employers. That's why when you're searching for a new job, that's why when you're searching for a new role, it's important to strategically manage your presence on social media, according to Lisa Orff Austin, a psychologist, exec executive coach and co-author of Own Your Greatness. The objective is to think like a social media manager and curate, a, professionalism, a professional, engaging and tolerate pro profile that resonates with target employers. Here are some tips on how to do that. Okay, basically, the main point of this article is to help you and give you some tips and advices of how can you uh, improve your presence online to improve your your opportunities to get like your dream job and what kind of things you must to avoid if you wanna look great on social media to to impress recruiters or interviewers and so on so uh, as I said in this part of the article, the objective is to think like a social media manager and curate a professional, engaging and tolerate profile that resonates with target employers. And here are some tips on how to do that. Basically, how to impress uh, recruiters. Scrub your socials. Before starting your job search, a digital spring cleaning is necessary. With AI tools, recruiters can data mine everything, warns Lucarinian, which means that you need to take extra pre precautions to ensure potential employers. <clears throat> okay, again, this part, <laughs> which means that you need to take extra preca precautions to ensure potential employers see only what you want to, only what you want them to. To protect yourself from bias and discrimination, review your public accounts and remove any sensitive information, such as your relationship or disability status. Make your personal social media account accounts private and be deliberate about everything you post. More on that below. I advise clients to screw their socials of any personal information, says Orf Austin. Ask yourself. Do I want an employer knowing this about me? Because if you're using your real name, it's, it's, discoverable. it's discoverable. What you share online can work both for you. What you share online can work both for and against you, she adds. And 
the world is a small place. Optimize your profile. Next, focus on increasing your visibility to potential employers by optimizing your profile on LinkedIn and other networking sites. The key is to strike a balance that appeals to both recruiters and algorithms, according to Laukerinen. In other words, it should highlight your experience and, exper and expertise in a way that's accessible to humans but straightforward enough for a machine to interpret. To achieve this, he recommends analyzing job postings from your target companies and incorporating matching keywords into your profile and summary. Over Ob Austin notes that as your career advance advances, your approach to sh to your profile should adapt. Okay, this is pretty important. So basically, um, say uh, this part of the article says that uh, as your career advances, your approach to your profile should adapt. Basically, you must update uh, every single time that you uh, make progress in your career in your current job. You must to to update and upload new information in your new in your LinkedIn profile. Orb Austin notes that as your career advances, your approach to, to your profile should adapt. When you're younger, you give more detail about your jobs and responsibilities, she says. As you progress, your profile should become more st streamlined and feature job titles, a strong summary of your accomplishments and relevant keywords, she says. Expand your reach. Developing your professional network on social media is a process that you'll refine over the course of your career not just during active job searches. Lukarinen research highlights the importance of both quantity and quality. A larger amount, a large, a larger number of contacts increases your visibility to potential employers by, by amplifying your searchability through all search and recommendation tools, while strong interpersonal connections are more likely to endorse to endorse you when opportunities arise. Orb Austin advise, advises job market newcomers to make use of LinkedIn's networking capabilities during job searches. LinkedIn is where you reach out to anyone under the sun with whom you're remotely associated, she says. It's a platform to link up with people like, say, your friend's parents, a concept that might be unimaginable on Instagram or TikTok, who, who are likely well connected and can provide insights and potential leads. Studies show that these weak ties, casual relationships, occasional social encounters, or friends of friends are the key of, un unlock of unlocking job opportunities. <clears throat> Craft a compelling narrative. Craft a compelling narrative. Announcing your job search on social media is a popular and efficient way to involve your network in helping you find new opportunities. Or Austin recommends customizing your message based on your career stage for maximum impact. Develop a, a curating mindset. Develop a curating mindset, she says, and consider two essential questions. What, else, what audience I'm trying to reach? and what message am I sending? Here are a few suggestions based on the career stage you're in. If you're a new graduate, include your degree, special skills, accomplishments, and preferred job, ty and preferred job types. Strike a balance between specificity and openness to various opportunities. You don't want to be too narrow or niche. Notes Orb Austin, express humility and ask for guidance using phrases like, I'm open to advice and suggestions, so please DM me if you know of any openings. Young, applic young applicants often receive support when they are looking for their first or second jobs as people have a lot of empathy for that stage of life, she says. If you were just laid off, maintain professionalism and focus on your career goals rather than dwelling on the past. The polls should be free of raw emotions and bitterness toward your former employer. Instead, highlight your skills, accomplishments, and the types of opportunities you're seeking. 
Be cautious with features like LinkedIn's Open to Work banner, as it may unintentionally convey desperation, says Orb, Orb Austin. If you're, on, if you're on LinkedIn, you're open to new opportunities, which makes the banner unnecessary. It pretty much just says unemployed. If you're actively looking, you don't want your boss. Okay, if you're actively looking, but you don't want your boss to know, be discreet. Be discreet and don't publicly post about your about your search. Instead, Herb Austin suggests maintaining confidentiality by adjusting your LinkedIn settings to notify recruiters that you're looking without making it visible to your current employer. This way, when recruiters perform searches, they can filter candidates based on availability. It's a way to sign out on the backend that you're open to your opportunities. She says, if you prefer to play it, if you prefer to play it safe, Lukinian recommends the old-fashioned road route of reaching out to your network of offline. That way, there is no paper trail. He says, if you're my career, a post may be useful in some cases, but Orb Austin recommends directly messaging a key contacts or creating smaller audience groups for tailored announcements. Instagram, for instance, allows you to form targeted subgroups within your network for those most likely to assist your job search. Networking and reconnecting with former colleagues and bosses through social media might feel daunting, but don't hesitate, says Orb Austin. Reach out with a genuine message that, com that complements their achievements and expresses interest in talking about your job search. Do it in a, rela do it in a relational way and without any shame, she says. Be social. A singular post about your job search is a fine start, but the point of social media is to be, well, social. Posting, constant, posting consistently, at least weekly, will keep your we will keep your network informed about invested in your search, says Orb Austin. Your posts should be create interest and spark conversations. The more engagement you get on a post, the better the reach it will be, it will have. Ask ask questions about your field and industry and encourage dialogue. Share updates on your activities, accomplishments, and perspectives on, rele on relevant topics. Maybe you were on a maybe you were on a panel or are talking on. Okay, maybe you were on a panel or are taking an online class. People want to see things that are personal and offer a window into the world. She says. And your network will enjoy celebrating your wins. Be sure to engage with others' content too. Be sure to engage with others' content too. You're trying to build a community. Be communal. Be mindful of your tone. Seeing other, um, be mindful of your tone. Seeing other, seeing seeing others' event on social media about job search struggles or company interview processes may tempt you to publicly share your own frustrations, but don't. You need to be mindful of your tone and how potential employers may perceive your posts, says Orb Austin. It's fine to be honest and talk about hard things, but frame it around but frame it around what you're learning and how you're growing, she says. Strive to come across as optimistic and a bit and showcase your resilience in overcoming obstacles. No angry tyrants or rants. If you go out there guns blazing, there can be several long-term consequences, she says. Laukerinen concords, pointing to research that suggests recruiters respond unfavorably to potentially damaging content. When recruiters screen candidates through social media, even small red flags can have large outcomes, he says. Sustain, sustain your social media presence. Many people neglect their social media presence after securing a job, according to R. Austin. However, 
staying, act staying active on platforms like LinkedIn can showcase your professional growth and keep your network engaged, sharing work updates and accomplishments, such as new projects, initiatives, and promotions, not only demonstrates your value to your organization, but might also capture the attention of potential hiring managers. And add a bonus. And an added bonus, you're sharing about your company, so your employer appreciates it. It may look as through your simply posting about your day-to-day -day work, but it's in but it's interesting to to recruiters, and it's creating a record of uh, of your accomplishments, which will be helpful when you're looking for then for your next job opportunity. Principles to remember: things that you must to do. Do optimize your profile across professional networking platforms by incorporating relevant keywords to appeal to both to both human recruiters and algorithms. Embrace social media's interactive nature by creating posts that spark interest and encourage conversations. Strive to come across as optimistic and up and upbeat when posting about your job search. Your future employers watching. Your future employer is watching. Don't overlook the importance of tidying up your online presence. Remove sensitive information, secure personal accounts, and be deliberate about what you post. Limit developing your prof limit. Ah, sorry. <laughs> these are the things that you don't need to do. Like these are things that you want to avoid when you're trying to to improve your presence online. So don't overlook the importance of tidying up your online presence. Remove sensitive information, secure personal accounts, and be deliberate about what you post. Limit developing your professional limit developing your professional network to active job searches. Instead, continuously refine your connections over time, focusing on both quantity and quality. Neglect your social media presence once you've secured a job. Keep your network engaged by sharing work achievements and updates. Okay, and he and and there it is. Like until until here this article. We finish it. Bro, that was so awful, you know? Uh, I don't know what happened, but actually I read this article before to to make this video and I was better than I really uh, did in this video. Uh, I don't know what happened, maybe when I put the, the camera in front uh, I just mess up and I screw everything, but it is what it is. I want uh, But it is what it is. It was nice and I was pretty instructive and I hope you you find it useful and you can make something with, with it maybe just to, to read as a lecture or just to practice English or or whatever or even to improve your skills and apply it when you want to make networking and to improve your your possibilities to get a new job so until now this video guys give me a like and subscribe and see you later in the next one bye bye